This video is brought to you by EA Game Changers. Special thanks to EA for allowing me to participate in this event. Hello my beautiful buddies and welcome to an exciting video today because we have early access to Island Living so I am doing a little review for you guys and a little speed build showcasing all the new items that we got in the pack and I just want to say first of all thank you guys that all that like support me and and just support the channel and things like that because i know i say it like every single time but really without you there would be no early access and i wouldn't be able to get to do these things and like review them for you guys early and like, give you guys all the rundowns and things like that so thank you guys so so much um and now um that that's over and I have thanked EA also too for the opportunity to be able to do this um I actually like want to go ahead and talk to you guys because I am just like dying to just talk to you first of all I have actually started a like, new summer course because I am a university student if you guys um don't know or you guys are new um so like yeah I've like it's been like super duper busy for me because of course I started had to start like this week for that too um um, so yeah, like I like, as soon as I got done with my homework today, I was just rushing to like go, well, I wasn't rushing. Like I, I, I did what I had to do that. I was like, oh my God, it's time for me to open the game and actually go ahead and actually build. And I was just so excited and blown away from like all the beautiful, beautiful new world. Um, I haven't seen too much of it yet, but like I was automatically just like stunned. Like it was exactly how I imagined it to be. Um, like when I opened up the world and I, I just knew, I automatically knew that The Sims 4 was going to have a beautiful beach world because I freaking loved Island Paradise and The Sims 3. Like that was one of my favorite packs. Towards the end, after it came out, I swear like all of my families lived in like sunlit tides and eat in Isla Paradiso because they were both really pretty. Um, but there is just something about the graphics in The Sims 4 that always just seemed to impress me every single time like every single time I always find a new world like they just get better and better and better and better so I definitely do think you get your money's worth alone if you're like looking just for like some beautiful scenery to like even build in um and of course like the goods too we get a lot of new items we get a brand new counter which is amazing my only beef with the counter is is that we don't have a matching like um you know like the island one like i can't i can't explain it you guys know what i mean like the bar counter like with the like overset counter like we we don't have one of those and that made me sad because didn't that happen with jungle jungle adventure or something like that so yeah i was kind of expecting that so i don't know if they just forgot or if it was just like intentionally not put in or whatever like that but it would make me happy if they did patch that in and they did put that in um as far as building that was like really the only complaint that i seen um i freaking love love the new couches i love the new beds i just just love all the bright colors to build with and things like that i did get a little creative with the shower um and you guys will go ahead and like see that too like when i start working on the bathroom but um there is an outdoor shower so you can put it outdoors but i was like i want to use the shower indoors <laughs> and because like it's a it's a unique one it's like one of those ones that don't have a um like they don't have a backing on it and things like that so i was like i'm gonna create like in in like wall shower thing <laughs> so i and i haven't tested it so hopefully i'll get a chance to by the time this releases like the game releases um for the public and hopefully it will work because if not then i guess i'll have to rework my shower situation <laughs> but yeah also too i freaking love all these new canopies too they're just so gorgeous like i am dying guys i'm dying just to like have my sim just go ahead and play and dive into the water um that's one thing i do want to talk to you guys about is that um i am planning to do some gameplay like maybe i'll do like a few parts parts of um of island like living and things like that i keep on and call it island paradise but it's not it's island living <laughs> um i have to learn that <laughs> um and we'll see how it goes from there because i was like thinking like maybe i could do like three parts and if you guys like want it to be like a full-on let's play we could do a full-on let's play but if you guys are not we can go back to like doing our normal 
our normal spiel because I notice I do a lot of building and things like that but um I just feel like island living is a good way to go because I'm going to do some gameplay because I've always loved I always love this pack and I feel like Oh, I feel like I have a couple of sims that I really, really want to play with, too. <laughs> so, um, I, I feel like, like, let's go ahead. Like, let's, why not? Why not do it, you know? <laughs> um, so, yeah, when I, when I get a chance, um, I will definitely go ahead and start, like, recording the whole, like, gameplay and, like, I guess, like, mini let's play or something like that. I don't really know what to call it or full-on let's play, depending on what you guys end up, if you guys end up liking it or not. Um, but, yeah, that, that will definitely come shortly <laughs> i uh, just decided that i needed to do i needed to spend some time in build mode before i'm like ready to move on to like gameplay and things like that because i like to i like to take my time and give you guys a full-on assessment and things like that um but from gameplay from what i have seen i am very very happy um because I really, really like the fact that in mermaids, that you don't have to level up and like do all that like things like you did they like we have for the vampires. Because like one of my biggest beef with the vampires is that it was really it's really really difficult to get to that park to go out in the sunlight and I'm all up for challenge. I like a challenge. I definitely do and things like that. <laughs> but. As someone who is more of like a family player or in like more of kind of like the whole, I like to create drama with my sims, you know, like I like to have families, I like to have drama, I like to have, you know, that kind of thing. So playing cults isn't something I normally do a lot, um, but when I do do it, I still like to kind of bring in the element of storytelling with it. So I was kind of happily surprised that um, we don't have to like you know go ahead and do all the like extra skilling up for like some certain mermaid skill or something like that to like be able to use all the extra perks and things like that and i of course had to put a bathtub in this house as well because bath because mermaids actually um when they're in the bathtub like their tail comes out and it like hangs over the side of the bathtub and it is so freaking adorable it reminds me of that show h2o um just add water and aquamarine and like all those cute little shows from like when i was a kid <laughs> it gave me like it made me happy <laughs> and now you hear and now you see me trying to like put in these eaves on the roof but it just doesn't work also too that is my clock in the background sometimes people ask i have a clock when i'm home and it rings in the background <laughs> But yeah, anyway, let's go ahead and like talk about like the whole furniture and things like that. So yeah, like I said before, my favorite pieces are definitely the beds and the couches and the counters, which is it always does. But um, you, we get some like really, really pretty -o, like patio cover thingies. Um, I don't really know what to call them. I really don't know what the proper term for them are. But as you can see that like I covered some like pretty flowers and bushes over them and like use them kind of like as a pathway off to the side. Um, also too, I really really like the whole matching. There's like a lot of matching sets in this. We get a lot of, we get a, we get a couple cool new windows like i really really like the shutter windows i definitely think that they're definitely interesting something that we don't have um as well as like these kind of these windows that are very similar to like the base game ones but they go really really nicely with like the big doors and things like that so i was really happy to see some more windows as well um what else do we get that that i, I freaking love oh my god let's, let's not even get started about like the whole like um like lawn chairs um i don't really know lawn chairs sun tanning chairs whatever you want to call them and like the beach towels and the freaking jet skis and the boats and things like that i'm just so excited to go ahead and try them all out and because they all look amazing there's so many different color options i was like blown away <laughs> i couldn't choose um and it was just it was just cool and i was just able even to make a cute little kids room um for some reason it reminded me of lilo and stitch i don't know why but it did <laughs> and i would just be able to like mix all the colors and just kind of like go go wild with it because i'm normally not someone who uses like a ton of color in my builds like i usually like to play it pretty realistic but 
um, for this one I was able to go out and I was and I was pretty pleased with it so I hope you guys like end up liking it um, and also as well let me know down below what are some things that you would like to see me show off in um, the gameplay um, for when I do some do the gameplay videos as well um, for creative sim creative sim has so many new pretty things guys I am blown away. I am so blown away. Like the hairs are beautiful. The clothes are beautiful. A lot of them, a lot of them too are, well some of them I guess I should say, are more cultural and things like that. And some of them are very, very wearable pieces that your sims can wear to the beach or really anywhere and things like that. And I just, I find them really beautiful. Like female cast is always something that I'm always excited to open every single time we get a new pack and they did not disappoint they did not disappoint um and yeah I'll just I'll have to show them off of course too um with my sims when I go ahead and get it <laughs> when I go ahead and get the gameplay part I guess I should say for you guys um as well as too that there was like a new update so um in case you guys haven't updated your game yet there was a new update we did get some new LGBT pride items as well as um they updated the fans as well i believe um so your fans could actually cool sims off and dry them off which is really really interesting i believe you also got a new um lawn chair so even if you guys don't get this pack you guys will have a lawn chair and that's so good because none of us have to like make like makeshift one like we did like with the ottomans anymore and things like that so that's really really nice um and also as well some bug fixes um okay and now right here you guys um if this is synced right at least <laughs> you'll see me like put these candles on the lily pads and this is something i always used to do in um the um whatchamacallit I always used to do this in the pools, the pools, like before we had island living. And I just wanted to see if it would look really, really pretty in like the ocean. And it did. <laughs> and realistically, probably if you like lived on the ocean, they probably would like float away. But like, we're going to forget about that. We're going to, we're going to pretend like that doesn't exist. <laughs> And they stay there all the time because they're pretty. Um, but yeah, I just, I, I went ahead and mixed like some different types of windows as well. And just the whole new, like, um, the lanterns and things as well. I, I loved, 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 loved using the tiki torches and just all the new plants. Because the plants I was really, really happy with too. Because a lot of them are good in of course sulani the world that island living comes with but it isn't the only place that you could definitely use them because they're very very usable for other worlds as well and they're very very lush and beautiful and i think they go really really well too with the um jungle adventure jungle adventure in this pack is definitely um a really really good combination <laughs> and also too if i'm talking a little bit lower than usual um it is because it is late at night and i am recording this late at night by the way <laughs> so if i'm a little quieter than usual that is why um but yeah going back to like i guess just dispelled <laughs> um what other things oh yeah guys we have an off the grid trait now which is super duper cool and super duper handy for this um for this pack because in and when you have that you have this new career i'm sorry i don't know what the freak i'm saying so you have this new career um called the conservationalist career and in it you have a lot of a lot of opportunities to to like really save the beach and save the environment and things like that um and it is just it just pairs really really well with that trait and things like that because obviously one of your goals is to like you know pick up trash along the beach and things like that and i haven't dived really deep into it as you guys can see <laughs> so i don't really know a whole ton about it yet but i'm just like i feel like it'd be really cool to do some sort of challenge with that trait thank you guys all for watching and don't make sure you guys go ahead and comment right subscribe as well as follow me on all my social media including my blog down below i will speak to you guys soon bye bye bye